Hey Valor, I'm Arrozi and welcome back to the last mission of the Long War campaign. So, we're about halfway for this mission, maybe a little bit less than that. Let's move on. I need to reload a few weapons and I need to move everyone across the room. The next room will have some thin men, so that shouldn't be too hard. Come on, what, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Hulk is blocking the way. Why can I not move Hulk? I guess he already moved on this turn. Okay, done. It will take a while moving 12 soldiers across this room. 12 soldiers is a lot! Kostya needs a reload. So the plan is to save all my ghost grenades for the Uber Ethereal, because I might need them. I'll try to kill everything else without ghost grenades. I do have two Mimic Beacons, so that should work quite well on Mutons. And I still got Mind Control on Girard and Annette. So the only real problem are the double sectopods in the last room before the ethereal. We'll see. If I can kill the sectopods without ghost grenades, the final ethereal shouldn't be a big problem. Alright, so this room will have some thin men. I'll probably move in with Hulk first, but not yet. I could use mind control with Annette on one of the thin men. Okay. So she should be in the front. Let's see, Carrie should be in the front in case I decide to use her and gun. Who else? Valentina? No, not really. Luis? Nope. But he needs to move anyway. Costia. Anyone else? There should be some people in the back still. Yep. Carl, oh yeah, he has very good mobility, so he should be in the front. Hariri and Sebastian. And I think that's it. So Overwatch. Okay, let's move them a little bit closer. Sebastian here. Well, that's Kostya. Yeah, Kostya has rapid fire. We can move closer. I'll just wait one more turn. There's no huge rush anyway. Okay, now I can move in with Hulk. As much as possible. Yeah, the group should be on the left side, so they will see me as soon as I enter the room. Let's move as much as possible. There they are, two thin men. Now, can I kill one of them? I could use Rift if I want to. I could use a flamethrower, but that seems like a waste. Let's see, I could try Flash. That might work. To get them out of cover. And I could use Mind Control on the run in the back. Let's see, can I get this guy out of cover? Probably not. Yeah, I can actually. Okay. Now I can flank him from the right side. But I need Mind Control to work on that guy in the back. That's kind of important. I could kill this one with rapid fire and running gun, probably. Yeah, this will be a flank. And it should be... 100% chance to crit? 90. Alright, let's try. I need one crit here. Nice. Okay, now I can use mind control. Uh, I mean... Psy panic, not mind control. And then kill the dude in the back. With no risk. 80% chance. Mind control has 60% chance. Alright, side panic. If it fails, I'll use side panic with Girard. No, it worked. Alright, now I can flank him and kill him easily. Hulk can move a bit closer. He can actually move in. I won't trigger anything if I move in like this. No, I won't. Oh, I did trigger one. Thinman on the left side. Right, I forgot about that guy. Okay. I still got Girard. But I don't think he's close enough to use Psy Panic. No. Should I use Telekinetic Field just in case? Maybe. Okay, let's use it just in case. I don't think he will be able to flank anyone because Annette actually has cover from this direction. But I can wait a few turns. For 
the cooldown before I trigger the mutants from the next room. There's no reason not to use telekinetic field, basically. I'll have it available for the next engagement anyway. And Kostya... He can move in here. Oh, he can actually shoot. Oh. Not much point shooting this guy. Mind fray, 20%. Okay, might as well use it. Failed. So, this dude will die easily. I need to take care of that other one. Without moving in too much, because if I move in any more than this, I will trigger two mutant groups on the left side and on the right side. And I don't really want that right now. I'm not actually sure where the other thin man is. He's hiding. Okay, 10 damage. He'll die on the next turn. Now, let's go find that other thin man. He has to be somewhere on here. I could just position a few soldiers on Overwatch over here. And if he moves towards me, he will trigger multiple reaction shots. Okay, let's do that then. Steady weapon. Jinar can move in. Dawn can use steady weapon as well. And one more person. Okay. And that's it for now. Move in with Arpit. With Sebastian. Who's that in the back? Oh, I think that's Valentina. Yeah. Okay. And I guess that's it. No, I can still move with Kerry. Can she actually take a shot? No, she can't. Okay, let's just back up. And Overwatch. This guy is still panicking, so he can't really do anything. There he is. So, can I see him with my snipers? No, probably not. The wall is going to block my line of sight. Okay, Carl can see him. I could use flash, but... I don't think that's actually going to help. Still, might as well use it. Yeah, he's going to back up, and now I won't see him at all. But that gives me time to kill this door. 16 crit. Now I can use Mind Fray or something. Girar can do it. That's only 42%. But it's still higher than actually shooting him with a weapon. Failed. One of my snipers can actually kill him, I think. Or maybe Valentina. This will give me holo targeting if I miss. Okay. Hariri. He has Gunslinger. 61%. Decent. And that's a miss. What about Don? Oh yeah, double tap. Bit of a waste of a double tap, but whatever. It's a kill. Now that other thin man. I'll just overwatch again. He has to move towards me. And I don't want to trigger the mutants yet. The plan would be to do some damage using Rift. To the mutants. Mutants should take a lot of damage from Rift because their will is low. Okay, this is going to be slightly problematic. I'll have to move in to actually kill that guy. Or I'll have to move my sniper to the front. Like Don. Yeah. No, I still can't see him from here. So, it's just Carl. Okay. Reload. So, Hariri can move in here. Use steady weapon and maybe take a shot to the next turn. Back to primary weapon. Okay, steady weapon. Can Girard get line of sight to the third man? Not from here, no. Okay, I can still use telekinetic field with Annette. Where's Annette? She's right here. Yeah, I think I'll just use telekinetic field. But I need Hulk to get it. Let's back up a little bit, maybe that's going to force the Thirman to move towards me. Also, I should heal Hulk a bit. Let's just do that right now. So, Girard is here. Girard can heal him. 
Hey, no net will use telekinetic field. If he stays where he is, I'll use precision shot on the next turn. So, telekinetic field. Everyone will get it, so that's plus 40 defense for everyone. My power has no bounds. Overwatch? Oh no, Don can use steady weapon. He's probably going to shoot Hariri, even for a plus 40 defense. No, he's actually moving, okay. Oh, this will make it much easier for me. He does have lighting reflexes, but I'll kill him on the next turn easily. Unless he moves out of sight, but I don't see how. This will all miss, probably. Yep, he's done. He's going to die on the next turn. Nice try, bro. But not quite good enough. Okay, well, this is going to be easy. Let's get the hello targeting. I missed twice, but I got hello target. No, I, he did hit for 8. And now I can take a shot. No need to use precision shot. I'll just kill him like this. 11. Maybe I can save double tap as well. Then again, it will be up by the time I engage on the group anyway. But Louis can take a shot. Missed. Okay, I'll use double tap then. This will be a kill, 100%. Bye. Okay, let's move on to the mutants. There will be one group of mutants on the left side. And one group of mutants on the right side. They will have a lot of hit points, so one rift alone will not be enough to kill the entire group. But it will do good damage. Yes, I need to reload everything first. Hulk needs to reload. Now, how much can I move and not trigger them? Oh yeah, and there's going to be a Berserker as well. Yeah, the Berserker is actually the hard part, kind of. I expect it to be the really big Berserker version. Like every single enemy in this mission. Okay, I can't reload on Kostya. The Bastion. I need to position all 12 soldiers properly. So this might take a moment or two. Arpeed. I can always use a Ghost Grenade, but I'm trying to not use them too much too early. Okay, let's move into the room. This shouldn't trigger anything yet. No, it won't. Okay, good. Now. Arpit. Valentina. Yes, Commander. Move in. Move in. So what about the snipers? They could be here. And that kind of works. And Dawn can be here. What about Valentina? She can't move and shoot, so her positioning is kind of important. She'll have to be inside the next room, I suppose. Luis needs a reload. Okay, reload. Reload. Was that in the back? Oh yeah, that's Sebastian. So, just keep this turn. I'm actually more worried about the Berserker than about the uh, Mutants. Because he will have Shock Absorbed Armor for sure. Which means it will take a lot of damage to kill it. Okay, Valentina. She'll have to be in the open. Like that. I could move her here and then hunker down or something. That's a possibility. Sebastian. Luis. Well, the medics can be in the back. They don't need to be in the front. They can be behind the snipers. Arpit with his grenades. And Annette. Yeah, Annette needs to be close to the front. Yeah, this is a lot of soldiers. I can't get proper cover for everyone. So I'll just need to kill the groups really quickly before they get to shoot me. 
Okay. So, trigger them now? Maybe. Oh, Valentina needs to be a bit closer if I want to move and use Hunker Down. Solid copy. Okay, let's wait one more turn. Alright, I'm going to trigger them now. I could move Hulk all the way and then use a flamethrower, but I should trigger them with someone else. So Sebastian, this will trigger them for sure. Here's the first group. That's a lot of hit points. Here's the other group. Okay, good. I can hit them both with a flamethrower. And here's the berserker. That's the hard part. Yep, hi. So question is, can I kill the berserker? Good question. He will have shock absorbed armor for sure. I'm not even going to check because I know he has it. And we have precision shots. I should get the shredder effect up first, so Sebastian needs to take a shot. Yeah, Sebastian needs to take the first shot. If I want to optimize my damage. Come on. There we go. That's 8 damage. Oh, does he not have shock absorbed armor after all? Interesting. Don't panic. Oh yeah, close command specialist. Good. I do have some inspiration, so if someone panics, I can use that. This was really nice damage. Yeah, I can kill it easily. Does he not have shock absorbed armor? No, he does have shock absorbed armor. Okay. So... I'll take shots with the snipers because they can't see anything else. So if they don't shoot the berserker, they will be wasted on this turn basically. Nice, very critical. <laughs> Just don't panic. Oh yeah, Dawn's well is a little bit low I think. Yeah, 30% only. Oh well, doesn't really matter. One more hit should do the trick. Kostya can do it probably. Luis can take a shot. Oh, that's a kill. Nice. So, back to the mutants. I can use a flamethrower on the two mutants on the left. So, let's do that. That's a pretty good use of a flamethrower. If at least one of them panics, that will be worth it. It will do decent damage as well, but it's mostly for the panic effect. Yep, one of them panicked. Not sure if the other one did. No, the other one didn't. Okay then. Now, there are two more mutants on the right side. I can use Psy Panic on one of them. I could throw that Mimic Beacon. Maybe that's a good idea, actually. Are you sure it's safe? Yeah, let's use the Mimic Beacon. It has a huge radius. I can't zoom out any. But if I throw it here, it will be in range of all of them. This is probably the best room to use the Mimic Beacon in. Because next I got the Sectopods, then two Mutant Elites. I can save the other Mimic Beacon for the two Mutant Elites. Hariri. Okay, he can reload. I can still take some shots, but I should spread out a little bit. Okay, Valentina can go here and hunker down. I still got Girar with Cypanic. So he could use Cypanic on one of these guys, just in case me Big Beacon won't work. Oh, only 22%? Okay, never mind. I'll use Telekinetic Field then. Just in case they'll actually shoot me. Maybe Beacon should work nicely, but there's no reason not to use Telekinetic Field, basically. I'll just play it safe. I don't want to take damage. So I'm moving to cover, hunker down. And I can kill them on the next turn. Reload. Okay, hunker down, hunker down. And let's see what's going to happen now. Okay, that one is Overwatch. Yep, it worked nicely. What about the other dude? And close command specialist. 
13 damage, nice. So, that panicking Mutor. I need to go and kill him before he stops panicking and flanks me. He jumped down, so he's probably down there. Okay, so Mimic Beacon only worked on one Muton out of three. Okay, so the biggest threat here is that Muton on the right side. Because he has Opportunist, Covering Fire and Sentinel. So if I try to take a shot at anything right now, he's going to shoot me back. Twice. So the best way to deal with him would be Cypanic or even Mind Control. But Cypanic has 75% chance. He will shoot me back when I use Cypanic. But Annette can take a hit. Yeah, she has 21 hit points. Let's do that. If this works, I won't have to worry about that guy. I hope it works. And he missed. Alright then. Now I just need Cypanic to work. And if it fails, I'll need plan B. Oh, it actually failed. Great, I jinxed it. Now I need plan B. Okay. What's plan B? I could trigger that other reaction shot with Carl, but I would probably have to dash into this room. I don't really have a big choice. I can't trigger it from up here. I would have to run and dash. Okay, let's do it. I don't want anyone else to get hit. So this will trigger the other reaction shot. And then I could try to throw a grenade to destroy his cover or something like that. Can I use running gun? On carry? No, she's not close enough. Okay. Girar has side panic, so I could try that. Perhaps. And Sebastian could move down here. I still got this mutant on the left side, though. Hmm. I do have a grenade on Arpit. Let's take a shot at this guy first, maybe. He needs to die. And there's still one panicking mutant down here. And I can't see him. 80% chance to crit, that's a kill. Bye. Okay, so Arpit. Where the heck is that Muton? He has to be somewhere around here. I still can't see it. Weird. Okay. Maybe he's hugging the wall down here. That's why Hulk can't see him. Anyway, let's try the grenade idea. That should work, I hope. I need to destroy his cover. So, like this. Let's hope this works. No, it didn't. Okay. Try side panic with Girard. And I need to do something about this mutant too. So that's a bit of a problem. I should just kill this mutant because that's a granted kill, more or less. Yeah, let's just kill him so I won't have to worry about it. I could get holo targeting up on the other guy. Alright, let's do that. Missed, but I got holo targeting now. Kostya can get a kill on this guy. At least he should be able to. Let's see, 100. I think I'll try Sai Panic with Girard. Okay, that's a kill. Yeah, I might try Sai Panic again. Let's do it. This will be lower chance than Annette's. Oh, only 17%? That's way too low. I can't kill that guy then. Unless I get incredibly lucky, which isn't going to happen. Yeah, I can't kill him. So, I can't really do anything about him right now. I could suppress him, and that's about it. I'm not close enough to use run and gun. Mind control will have even lower chance. Yeah, 0%. Mind fray, 27. Maybe I should just move back. Okay, let's move back. I still got Sebastian. I'll have to just suppress him. I don't have a big choice here. So suppression. And carry. She can move down there. So maybe get close combat specialist shot up if he tries to move. And then she'll be able to flank him on the next turn. Okay, done. 
He can stay back here. Okay, steady weapon. There's still one more Milton. Somewhere around here. I just don't know. Oh, yeah, he's down there. He's hugging the wall below Hulk. So what is he going to do? He's actually moving. Okay, seven damage. He seems to be moving. And close combat specialist. This won't be a kill, but at least it will give me some damage. He might shoot Carl. That's probably what's going to happen. Or he might shoot Kerry. They are both immune to critical hits. No, he's just running away. Okay. No problem. Let's kill this guy down here. I'll need one more person down here to help. Because Hulk is almost out of ammunition. Yeah, that's only 10 damage and he's out of ammunition now. So I need someone to help. But first, let's kill this guy. That's kind of important. I don't want to move too much. Because I don't want to trigger the sectopods in the next room. I'm not quite ready for that yet. So let's play it safe. That's a kill. So rip. Now one more muton. This shouldn't be a problem. I don't think I can kill him on this turn. Let's see. No, I can't kill him on this turn, but I can do it on the next one. Can Kosya take a shot from him here? I don't think so. But I can check. No, he can't take a shot from him here. Alright, whatever. I'll kill it on the next turn. Reload. I can start moving in. Hariri. The next part will be interesting. That's the sectopods. Okay, Valentina can reload. Annette can run towards that guy or something. I can always say panic one more time. Arpit. Carl can just move down there. And shoot him with the plasma molar. Yep, that works. He should still be panicking on the next turn. I'm pretty sure about that. Sebastian needs a reload. Okay, reload. Yeah, he's still panicking. That's an easy kill then. Alright, let's do it. So, switch to Plasma Molar. I can just shoot him in the face. For 100%. Or 97 still. Okay, whatever. 9 damage. I got hit and run, so I can shoot one more time. This should be a kill. Now, 6 damage. Okay. Arpit will get a kill then. No problem. Rip. And now I need to prepare for the sectopods. Oh yeah, that gives me combat rush as well. But that's not amazingly useful right now. That was the last alien in this room. So, sectopods next. And then mutant elites. And then the ethereal. So we'll see how it goes. Girard. Costia. Yeah, I need to position myself properly without actually triggering them. I might use a ghost grenade. I don't think I'll need five ghost grenades for the ethereal. And I still got five ghost grenades. It's killing time. I do have the sibling shot on my snipers. Alright, Hariri. Done. Heading to that location. Hmm. I'm not sure how many hit points they are going to have. Is it going to be to 90 hit points? Take the pause? Possibly. And if that's the case, I might need that ghost grenade. And possibly a disabling shot too. I think both Don and Hariri have disabling shots. Do they? Okay, Hariri has disabling shot. And where's Don? Is he still up here? Now, where it's done? Kostya, Sebastian, Kenny. Oh, yeah, Don has disabling shot as well. Okay. I think I'm just going to use one ghost grenade. But I'm going to continue this in the next part. So, this one is done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. And see you next time for the grand finale.